Welcome to XAR Template Tutorial Lesson 111 for the XAR Web Designer 9 Premium Software. In this video, I'm going to be talking about a new feature in the new program, and that feature is the Google Analytics tab. And the reason that I'm making this video is because I had a YouTube viewer request on how to add the Google Analytics code to their website. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is right click in a blank area of your workspace and go to web properties and when you go to web properties you'll see that there's a tab called analytics and when you find that tab let's go ahead and left click on it and I've already pasted my Google Analytics code so you know don't worry if you if you don't see anything in this box here but when you have your Google Analytics code you're gonna paste it into this box and it's basically going to have that code on every page of your website automatically so you basically paste your code into this box once and then once you do that hit OK and Google Analytics will automatically be embedded on every page of your website and for those who are not familiar with Google Analytics it's basically a, a tracking system that will track the demographics of your website that means things like viewership you know where the, where the viewer came from what country they're located in how long they were on your website what links they clicked on it's basically going to give you more information on how well your website is doing so if you don't have Google Analytics what you can do is go to your web browser go to google.com and when you're at google.com just add forward slash analytics and hit enter and that's going to take you to the Google Analytics website and you're going to want to click on create an account and after that you're going to go to the upper right hand corner of your screen and click on sign up and you're going to fill in all this information to sign up for a Google Analytics account and once you have that account you'll be able to get your Google Analytics code and paste it into that box so I hope that this tutorial was helpful and if it was don't forget to embed comment share subscribe and I hope that you stay tuned for future tutorials have a great day